this new war in Lebanon caught the IDF by surprise. Six years after the evacuation of South Lebanon, the Israeli army finds itself once again in a war against guerrilla. The main player in this operation on the IDF side are, of course, the warplanes. The planes may cost more, but at least the soldiers' lives are safer. Hezbollah strikes Israeli cities along the border on a daily basis. Hezbollah continues to declare they're not using civilians as human shields, but these pictures show otherwise. The IDF is now trying to establish a security line approximately six kilometers deep inside Lebanese territory to make it harder on Hezbollah to fire rockets. To achieve this goal, infantry troops were ordered inside Lebanon. Only these soldiers are capable of killing Hezbollah militia with minimum wounded among civilians. In their search for terrorists, the soldiers find Hezbollah uses all establishments as weapon arsenals and launching areas, including a holy mosque. The soldiers return to Israel, carrying Hezbollah bodies and weapons captured in Lebanese villages. These soldiers may look like they're coming home, but they're only making a brief exit to refill their engines and, as we can see, are immediately being replaced by another unit. The Israeli planes are on their way to bomb yet another launcher and another target on their mission to destroy Hezbollah.